everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my February 1st, 2016 LEGO City Update. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. I've made so many awesome changes to the LEGO City this month, so if you haven't checked out January's update, I suggest you do so now. Let's save my favorite part of the LEGO City for last and start over here. For starters, as you can see, this is the police station. As I have like four cars there and a bunch of like police officer minifigures waiting to go inside. Next to the police station is the hospital. So as you can see, next to the hospital is the ambulance parked across the street because that's ambulance parking. This is going to be a one-way road, but as you can see, there is kind of construction going on because they're working on building and making the Avengers Tower look awesome. It looks very busy on this part of the city, especially since the shelf is so low. From the police station and the hospital, as you can see, in the center of my city is this park area. Over here is the bike shop and cafe mock. As you can see right in front of that, I have this tree as well as this really big flower bed. We have a man on the balcony as well as just some people roaming around the streets enjoying the city. Oh no, up here it looks like we have an evil scientist with a big ball of bloop. Next to the bike shop and cafe sets, as you can see we have this like toy store and news store. I really like this building and it goes quite nicely with the two. Again, all around that we just have more people enjoying the streets. Sort of in the center we have this man-made pond with flowers surrounding all sides and a big beach area where the kids can play in the sand. We also have these two palm trees with a nice big monkey in the one. Moving on from the beach area we have this little park area. As you can see there's like a tree and like a merry-go-round where the kids can spin around. In the one tree there's even a swing. As you can see we also have this really big tall tree. Overlooking the park area is this nice museum. As you can see, the museum like curators going inside there, and the whole museum is being guarded by that police officer because there's some pretty rare artifacts inside. On the other side of the museum, we have a vet shop, and on the other side of the vet shop is a Canada Post post office. Here on the back row, I have my collection of custom and mock LEGO modular buildings. I have the LEGO Palace Cinema set my mock Lego store, my mock FAO Schwartz toy store, this yellow building that doesn't really have a purpose yet, the detective's office, as well as the Grand Emporium. It looks like a police chase is going on. Uh-oh, it's Casey Neistat and his crew snowboarding around the streets of the city. As you can see, there's a really bad ca looking Casey Neistat figure on some skis holding a handlebar and going over a big slope of snow. Being pulled in this Jeep, as you can see, there is a nice camera as well as a producer just filming them. And Casey Neistat is being pulled on an HDMI cord. I've also created this Lego drone that's overlooking the streets filming them. Excitement like this doesn't happen often in the city, so as you can see, there's a lot of spectators watching them. You may not have noticed, but along the roof of all the modular buildings, I have several different like billboards of advertisements. I plan to change those up sometime this month, but who knows, I may not get around to it. Over here in the very far back corner of the city, I've added the 2016 sign, as well as the ball for New Year's Eve. Cars are able to drive underneath the sign. The big change I've added to this part of the city is the Lego Ferris wheel. So I got this set recently, I built it up and I placed it in my city and I do have to say it looks great. First I was afraid it'd be a little too big for the city but over the last few weeks I've really come to love it. Unfortunately I don't have the Ferris wheel motorized so if I want to spin it I have to do it by hand. Next to the Ferris wheel is the park entrance and as you can see that overlooks the Brick Coaster Lego roller coaster. If you haven't seen the video where I expanded the roller coaster, I suggest you check it out. But as you can see, I made it twice as wide and I started putting my Lego mocks in the middle of it. I have the black office building, the white hotel and sort of office building, as well as the red mall mock. It's really neat because it goes really low on those sides and then you can see all the tallness here at the back. Up at the front here is where you get onto the brick coaster. As you can see, right inside the entranceway of the city is where the big brick slayer sign is. And you go through the red carpet up the stairs and onto the platform. There it says do not stand up when you get in the coaster. Just past the roller coaster as you can see I did quite a lot of work on the skyscraper and made it look more like a hotel. Now there's a really big red awning with a nice red sidewalk. Honestly I think it looks really neat next to the roller coaster. A really big change I added to the white skyscraper this month was I added a sushi restaurant and I just uploaded that video yesterday so you can check it out in the cards. 
Overlooking the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster, I've added the NCIS building. Honestly, I love the look of the NCIS building here. I'm not really sure why, I just really love it. And throughout the whole shopping center, as you can see, there's a lot of different minifigures as well as this really big fountain. Another big change this month is I actually hung airplanes above the city. And honestly, that looks really neat when you walk into my Lego room and see that. Thanks everybody so much for watching my February 2016 LEGO City update. I had so much fun working on the city this January and making it look the way that it did. It took a couple weekends to do it all perfectly, but I'm so happy with the progress of it. Let me know down below what you think and if there's anything I should change or add or take away. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Again, I really hope you enjoyed.